Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox. Today we're playing Bee Swarm Simulator once again, and we're actually not in the test server this time. We are in regular Bee Swarm, so there's no extra content now. The wall is completely blocked off. Um, I, luckily I have 26 billion honey though. Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of grinding. Also, if you're wondering why I have these boots on, it's because I like to AFK um stump snail or stumpy, and uh basically if I just keep jumping like this. Uh, I don't move around the place, because for some reason, when I have the max boots over there, um, when I jump, like, over a period of time, I, like, move to the side, and, uh, I usually die from Stumpy after going AFK for about 20 minutes, so, uh, these boots are the best to AFK Stumpy, at least for me. Um, speaking of Stumpy, though, I actually have Stumpy at less than 10,000 health, so, we will actually be taking down Stumpy, again on video today um i did it once off camera just because i felt like it um but this time i'm actually recording it but yeah basically in today's episode i just want to show oh that is that is weird look at my friend oh the bear buff went away it was like look at my fresh kicks um but yeah basically today i wanted to show off a code um that on it release uh basically saying that the update is the, the update is delayed well, sort of. Not really. He said he wanted to try to get it out this weekend, but I'm pretty sure he will actually get it out next weekend. So we have to wait about seven days, which isn't a lot when it comes to Bee Swarm Simulator updates. Usually these updates take forever, and it did, but, you know, now it's only seven days away. Ish. Maybe. Unless it gets delayed again, but I really hope it doesn't. But we are most likely going to get the Bee Swarm update um, next week. Maybe on Saturday, maybe Sunday. I don't know, but Ana doesn't really have much things to test out. Uh, but yeah, let's take out Stumpy. I just need to get a uh, baby buff so I can get the best rewards as possible. Um, so let's see. Baby B, you want to give me one? No? Alright, well, well, I'm just gonna sit here and, uh, talk about some of the new stuff that is coming to the update that I was not able to talk about in the previous video. Um, one- one of the items that actually, um, just kinda got released out of nowhere in the test server is something called Coconut Clogs. It's a boot item, kinda like the gummy boots, but, like, way less expensive. Um, it only costs 2.5 billion honey, so, you know, there's no major dents getting out of my freaking bank account when it comes to honey. Um, let's see, it also costs 100 coconuts, and I think you can only hold 100 coconuts- Ooh, a baby buff. Alright, uh, you know, I'm just gonna hold that on the side for now. Come on, Stumpy, you're going to get stumped. Look at that 2,000 health left. He's literally just gonna get sneezed on and die instantly. 51, buzzing. Nice, we defeated Stumpy. Again, and we got a star jelly, 65 tickets, 8 glue, 3 oil, 100 treats, 10 roller jellies, uh, 100 gumdrops, I think, uh, 30 million honey, um, and 500 battle points. Nice, and we got another gold amulet, so 7% glue, 4% defense, 27% honey from tokens, 41% stump field pollen, 17% uh, pineapple patch pollen, and 17% pumpkin patch pollen, which, I mean, I guess that's pretty good. I would rather have the plus 2 pollen, though, compared to the defense. I don't think the plus 4 defense is really gonna do much. Um, but you know, like, I think that's pretty okay. I'm kinda wondering when I'm gonna be able to get a diamond, um, shell amulet, though. I'm really excited until I get one of those. But for now, I think I'm gonna keep it, just because of the plus 2 pollen, and the sunflower field pollen, since, you know, it's always better to have the um, you know, buffs located or set to the deep or, like, the earlier fields, since the earlier fields are a lot more difficult to grind in compared to the top level fields, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it for now, but nice, we got a star jelly, which means we now have 19 out of a lot, basically in the new update, um, apparently you're gonna need a ton of roll or star jellies in order to buy the new items, so, you should definitely start getting a ton of star jellies. They're gonna be really important in the next update. I think the petal wand or petal dipper is gonna cost like 25 star jellies. And then the bag is gonna be like another 25 or 50 maybe. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be real friggin' expensive. But I'm pretty sure you can actually get star jellies from the memory match game inside of the pepper field. So, that's pretty good. It's a daily thing for only a couple million honey. 
and you have a chance of getting a freaking star jelly. So, I think that's pretty good. Plus, the field chances will definitely increase their chance of finding a star jelly in the memory match game. So, I'm just really excited to do some memory match, because then it'll be much easier to collect those really hard-to-get items. Um, but yeah, anyways, as I was saying, um, I'm just gonna activate this cold root, or kit, I can't even talk today. Sorry about that, but I'm gonna activate this code. Um, I'll just give it to you right here. So, the code is more time. And, of course, that just shows that on it needs more time. So, yoink. And then we get a pumpkin patch boost, clover field boost, and a stump field boost. Now, what I want to do with this boost is, uh, I defeated stump snail at this exact time. Just so I can actually grind in the fields. Um, because I'm trying to get closer to completing my stump badge. I'm about 80, um, or 800 million honey away um, or 800 million pollen from getting a stump badge grandmaster, so I'm definitely gonna try to get that. I'm also gonna be using some gumdrop stuff, um, in the field while I'm working, but I will also be using a glitter to grind as well. But as we're grinding, I'm just gonna be talking about some of the new items coming. So, as I was saying, the coconut clogs. The coconut clogs cost, of course, 2.5 billion honey. Um, it also requires 100 coconuts, which is the maximum that you can hold um, at a time. And it will also require 50 tropical drinks, which I actually have um, the crafting recipe, um, like, you know, in the test server. I actually saw it, but I don't think I recorded it. But I think it basically requires some oil and enzymes or something like that, like kind of mixed together with a coconut. Um, yeah, basically a lot of coconuts and enzymes, um, a hundred glue, and a hundred enzymes. So you're definitely gonna need a lot of enzymes and like, um, coconuts and stuff for this update, which coconuts are gonna be a new item, so you better start grinding. Um, but yeah, basically, for the boots, um, these are the stats right here. I'm just reading it off of the video that I saw. Um, <coughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, of course, boots. It has two, or times two pollen from coconuts, which I'm a little, I mean, I guess if you use a coconut in a field and it drops down and smashes down, you would get times two pollen from that, which I guess is pretty good. Um, but I can't even speak could, bleh. Uh, you also get plus 25% pollen from bees, plus 25% white pollen, plus 25% honey from tokens, and plus 10, or, that's not all, plus 10 movement speed, uh, plus 21 jump power, 13 movement collection, and a passive coconut haste, which is pretty good. Um, what is my current stats for my normal boots? Um, 10 movement collection, so you get an extra 3 movement collection, and I think an extra jump power. Yeah, one singular extra jump power, which is pretty good, and plus two movement speed, compared to the, uh, Beekeeper's boots, which is, of course, not the best, uh, boots in the game. I think the best boots right now is the gummy boots, even if it's, like, super expensive, but I do believe the gummy boots will be getting buffed in the next update, so I'm hoping it's, like, super good, so maybe it'll actually push me to grind for that. Um, you know, in the long run. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think that's the only item that has been revealed. There's probably gonna be another item called the Honey Hammer, uh, coming out soon. I don't know what the stats are, because it has not been revealed, and no one was able to get a hands on the item yet, except for, like, hackers, but, like, I don't think they showed off. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Look at that gummy boost right there. Look at all that gum. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah, also, I didn't really mention this, but I managed to finally get my Goo Badge Grandmaster after, like, a long time of not having it. I finally got it, so now I can finally get five glues at a time when activating my daily, uh, glue dispenser, which is pretty good. But yeah, I have this, um, I have Twitter opened to this, um, user called Beeswarm Simulator Leaks at, um, at Languid Cactus. If you want to go check them out. Right, why do I keep stuttering? Um, but yeah, basically, um, they're just someone who, like, reports all the leaks in the game, um, on Twitter and stuff, so it's, you know, easier to find instead of going on Discord, which is really nice. So if you want, you can go follow them for future, like, updates and stuff on, like, what Onnit says from Discord if you don't have Discord, like me, so people like these are really helpful since I don't have to friggin' search the, you know, internet finding posts from Onnit, you know, I can just go on this guy's Twitter and, you know, just look at what he said. But, once again, 
I'm not exactly sure if this is 100% true since, of course, there's no screenshots attached, so I don't know if Anna actually said this, but just take this with a grain of salt, um, in case this is, uh, incorrect information. I'm pretty sure they have given, um, correct information, though, in the past, so I'm sure this is highly believable. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna read off what they said on Twitter, um, and this is all from, apparently, on it. that's what he said, so, um, yeah, just, just, this is just on it, um, from Discord, saying all this, uh, but I was never even really implemented, or I never even really implemented features, uh, of, for VIB, which is a, basically a VIP game pass, but, like, except for, um, very important beekeepers, <laughs> funny joke, right? Um, so yeah, I guess on it didn't really try to test that yet. Um, I was just testing a VIP game pass, uh, like thing, but don't ever, uh, know if I'll really implement it. That cricket was like an old mantis enemy that I ended up not using, and the yeti was like a werewolf. So from that, it makes it look like a cricket was like a old mob design that on it had, but decided to not use. And apparently like a yeti, which sounds really weird, like, imagine the mountain scales up even more to where you go up to like a very mountain top, like the snow peak area, where it's like, I, I don't know, like an icicle field or something, that would be pretty cool, and you have to fight like a yeti boss, oh, that would be kind of cool, um, I don't know, that's, that's just for future stuff, if anything, um, yeah, I guess those are just scrapped mobs, um, let's see, oh, he also said, I haven't made packs, and don't know what they'll contain or cost, but they'll probably be similar to packs I've made in the past, and he also said all, all the mods in there are things I've worked on in the past, but they go way back, they won't be used. So he's probably also talking about the mods, like the mantis that weren't used yet, um, uh, or no, no, not the mantis, but the crickets, um, and the yeti, so those are like old mob, like, decals, I guess, that people saw for some reason. I don't know, where are people getting this information from, like, crickets and yetis? Unless Anna just showed, like, pictures of them, which would be pretty cool to see, but, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's see, moving on, um, up here, basically every bee, uh, can convert a certain amount of pollen to honey at a time. The conversion amount is added to that amount, and then it's multiplied by conversion rate. So he's just talking about conversion rate and stuff. So if your bee has 50 base conversion amount, you have 100 plus conversion amounts and 200% conversion rate, the bee will gradually um, grab uh, 50 plus 100 um, times 2 pollen from your backpack at a time to convert to honey, 300 pollen. So I guess math mathematics and stuff, uh, I'm freaking stupid so I don't understand. I don't understand your freaking mathematics there, Buster. The honey hammer is in the game, and I have it on the test place, but there's no planned way to obtain it at the moment. So apparently the honey hammer is in the test realm, but he just didn't make a way to get it yet, so... I don't know how hackers managed to grab it. Um, it honestly just amazes me how people manage to do this kind of stuff. But, uh, it's probably gonna be better than the petal one. So like, um, what's that? Whatever, I think I saw that earlier. It's like a number. Um... Yeah, I'm getting off track, but yeah, the honey hammer is probably going to be released in a future update, and I believe it is better than the petal wand, but its ability, from what I've seen, is it grows super big, and it, like, smashes into the field, probably collecting either pollen or honey or something, I don't really know, I mean, it is a honey hammer, so maybe it does collect honey, who the freak knows, um, but yeah, that's pretty good, um, I hope I can get my hands on that in the future, I was hearing around that it does cost 7.5 billion honey, but once again, I'm not sure if that's correct or not, maybe on it changed it to cost more or less, maybe, I don't really know, uh, but yeah, let's see, anyways, um, on it wants to keep things secret about the update, otherwise everyone, or everything will be already known from the test realm, which I mean, fair enough, like, on it wanted to keep Robo Bear secret, he wanted to keep the new, um, he wanted to keep the new event bears a secret, like the traveling bear, which I think he will actually release in the next update, and he's also keeping the new, uh, quest line a secret as well, which I think the new quest line will reward, like, spirit petals or something, so that's pretty cool, and there's also, like, a something called a white clover, which no one has been really talking about this, but I heard in, like, when Black Bear had his original quest, or had his new quest added, to where he awarded, like, a star jelly, I think, which was pretty good, but I keep saying good, which was pretty good, um, but basically, when Black Bear had those quests, he had a quest where, like, he was talking about this white clover 
that rarely appears in the clover field, and it grants like super cool items. So I think that might be something added in the future that would be really good for like item gathering. Maybe it can be rarer than a Grandmaster Sprout. <laughs> Imagine having like something with like a 0.00001% chance of spawning. Uh, that would just suck trying to get it on video. Um, but yeah, I think that would be pretty cool to see a white clover that grants like super overpowered items, like maybe star jellies or like just eggs or something. That would be cool. Um, yeah, let's see. There's nothing to directly spend tickets on in the update. Using them to buy singers and match speeds helps to get late game stuff, but there's nothing new in the ticket tent. So, basically, you can't buy the Windy Beat of tickets. You're gonna have to donate stuff to the Wind Shrine, I believe, um, in order to actually obtain the Windy Bee, which I don't know what it'll say in order to tell if you got it or not, or if you have to donate a certain amount, or if it's just luck, like you could donate like one friggin' like regular treat and you can get it. I don't know. But, um, basically, uh, I didn't really talk about this, but the Wind Shrine, uh, when you donate stuff to it, it actually grants you, like, buffs and items. So, like, it gives you treats, it gives you, like, instant conversion buffs for, like, certain fields. It's really cool. Um, and I kind of showed off in a previous video where it was a code, and it granted me, like, nine times instant conversion buff. And if you keep donating to the Wind Shrine, you can eventually grant, like, grind up, like, that amount of instant conversion, which is pretty cool, unless on it makes something to fix it, because, I don't know, that feels really broken right now. Um, but yeah, I think the best way to spend tickets for late game players is to have at least a thousand tickets with you, um, because, of course, once you get Windy Bee, you want to make it gifted. I currently have, uh, 2,000 tickets, so I will probably be able to get another gifted bee, one that I don't have. Ooh, a sprout. Spawned right inside of this field. That's pretty nice. Um, I also gotta remember to activate the glitter before the thing ends, because I'll feel really stupid if I'm just, like, friggin' talking, and then I realize my boost is gone, I'll be like, bruh. <laughs> that would actually be a certified bruh moment, so let's just hope that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think, or, what am I even talking about? Uh, but yeah, just save about a thousand tickets for the gifted event B, Wendy B. Um, let's see, I, actually, I can't really check its gifted ability. I think it was, like, two times white, not, not white pollen, but, like, 30% white pollen or something extra. Something like that. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, I have a lot more. Um, the honey hammer, or the hammer was part of other stuff I was working on. At one point, the update was very different, and a lot got cut out. Uh, it'll be added at some point, but not in the, uh, or uh, not in this update. So the Honey Hammer will be a future item. So I'm guessing it's gonna be better since it's coming after the Petal Wand. So I think that'll be pretty exciting to look out for. Um, yeah, let's, let's see. Yes, you will need the Petal for Windy Bee, but getting the Petal doesn't mean you get Windy right away. The earliest, uh, then you can obtain Windy is after you finish 10 of the new quests. So yeah, for the new quest line, eat every 10 quests you complete, you get a petal, or like a, a spirit petal or whatever it's called, and that's like when you can actually obtain Windy Bee at first. So you gotta complete those 10 quests, then you start donating to the Wind Shrine maybe, and then you'll probably have a chance of getting Windy Bee. I don't really know, but that's just from what I've got from that. Uh, if your beats are at level 11, it has effectively a 200k HP. I'm guessing he's talking about, um, maybe the coconut crab or like an aphid or something. Or no, not an aphid, but probably a coconut crab, if anything. If they're all level 10, it has effectively 400k. So basically, if you have better bees, the coconut or whatever he's talking about gets nerfed by health, like, literally, like, so much. Which, fair enough, I guess, you know, making it easier for the people who already have better bees. Uh, but let's see. Uh, it doesn't despawn, so you can kill it eventually. I'm guessing they're, he's talking about the coconut crab again? Probably. Um, someone else said, Cherry, a moderator, is the honeybee NPC Sting? And then on it said, he's not sure yet. Uh, but he doesn't want it to be permanent, uh, he hasn't removed it yet, and he can keep it longer if, uh, people want it to stay. Which, I think the Honey Bee is a really cool way, like, to have a Honey Token quest, because you don't really see many, uh, bears asking for Honey Tokens, and Honey Bee is just kind of like that NPC who asked for it, and then you get rewarded instant conversion 
or um, conversion rate, which would help you grind, and I think that's really cool, so I think you should just keep it, like, longer, if anything, permanent would be pretty good, but I don't know, it's just my opinion, plus I think if you complete his final quest, like, if you collect 5,000 honey tokens, you get, like, a, I don't know, a star jelly or something, so I'm kind of close to that, I might record it or something, I don't know, I'm trying to hurry this up, because, honest- Oh, frig, my boost is about to go away, frig, dude, I'm glad I checked, 10 seconds left, bruh, Jesus, that could have gone terribly, my god, um, actually, let me just grow, go and grab the boost real quick, um, all the way over here, just gotta hit a yeet, over to the gummy bee tent, um, I think it should be ready by now, so, yeah, gumdrop, oh yeah, glue spent, nice, alright, so we got the buff, plus five glue, and, um, a three minute unlimited gumdrop boost, which is pretty nice, um, so I don't really know how long this video is, I'm just kind of blathering on, but I'm trying to do this as quick as possible, um, let's see, uh, he also said that I haven't made packs and don't know what the container costs, but they'll probably be similar to packs I've made in the past, he said that, or I already said that already, but I guess he said it again, um, I'm trying to rebalance the quest lines of the new bear, the new bear has no ability token collecting requirements, nice, I don't really like, um, bears that require you to collect ability tokens, like Sun Bear, or like, um, like, the Honest, or Honest NPC, that was a lot of friggin' tokens, and, uh, friggin' Science Bear, I don't really like that, but at least the new bear won't require you to collect a bunch of friggin' tokens, which is nice, um, but yeah, let's just start setting up our stuff right here, nice, and then now we can start using a ton of gumdrops, so yeah, this is basically how I like to grind, um, every day I activate the gumdrop boost, and then I go in a field that's super boosted, and then I start spamming them, like just spamming them for a whole three minutes, uh, maybe even using some instant conversion, cause why not, right? Um, you know, it's, it's pretty good, uh, I really like it, I really like the instant converter, I feel like it's a really cool addition, um, and I, and I like it, um, yeah, for a hold on, alright, let's go, let's go back to convert so I can read more, um, let's see what else, uh, Onnit also said, uh, that he's trying to finish as soon as possible within the next two weeks at the latest, if anything, you have to cut out the traveling bear, release the 35 B zone with the bear in there, then do the traveling bear in an update after that, it wouldn't take too long since it's partially done, that's pretty good, um, let's see, uh, is that it? Oh, and of course the new code. Yep, that is it. So more time, and of course it gives three times pumpkin patch boost, three times clover field boost, and a one times stump field boost, and twenty moon charms, five micro converters, and three jelly beans, and three wealth blocks uh, abilities, which I actually only noticed until now, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I will probably end it off here. Um, I will continue to grind in the stump field. Um, I'll probably end off the video once it's over. So, I think I have, like, I literally just have, like, 30 more seconds to do this. Um, so yeah, let's see. Just gotta, you know, dazzle around in the gumdrops. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say anymore. Uh, that's why I don't really like making grinding videos. It's hard to, like, freaking talk over it and also give, like, good commentary, like, at the same time while you're grinding. Because I'm just trying to focus on one thing, and that's just grinding. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I have to work on that in the future find out like other stuff but yeah that's all the information i have for now once again um thanks uh languid cactus or at um b swarm leaks on uh twitter uh, you can go check them out if you want to see more leaks in the future um so yeah there's my gumdrop boost nice um yeah that is pretty much it i will just see you once my boost is over i'm gonna continue to use gumdrops though just because now that i keep when i keep spamming it uh, it will activate the gummy morph more.
Well, that right there is the end of our grind session. Hope you enjoyed that. I should do a little time lapse thing. I really wish I could put music over it, but my screen recorder just doesn't let that happen. Like, nah, bruh. Was that you wanted to overlap audio? I don't think so. Uh, which that kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, in total, I made about a billion. Wait, is that a billion? No, maybe not a billion. Or is it? I don't know how much I made. I can go check, but I know I made a lot of money. Uh, from the start of recording this video, I had basically on the edge of... No, I did make a billion, or like over a billion honey from that. I made like 1.3 billion honey from that code. Nice. And... Oh, jeez, my stump badge is so close. Bro, I might as well just go take that off already, so I can title this video something else. Um... Alright, cool. Yeah, I basically got a ton of, uh, glue for, or goo from that, so that's another 600 million, uh, goo from that. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier, that's a literally super easy way 
to get a ton of honey and goo. Um, I guess I just thought I should save my gumdrops, even if it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna grind a little bit more in here, just so I can finally finish off my, um, Stump Badge Grandmaster, and then I will end off this video. Also, sorry for this video being, like, over 20 minutes. I was trying to cut it down a little bit, but honestly, I, I just couldn't. I, there was a lot of information to give out. Um, some stuff was repeated, but I just wanted to make it, like, clear that the update is most likely gonna come out, um, next week, most likely, and there's just, like, other information that I just wanted to share. And there we go, finally, 5 billion honey from the stump fields, nice, we did it, and finally now, we have to claim our glorious stump badge, Grandmaster badge from 16% pollen from tools to 20% pollen from tools. 3, 2, 1. Hey. You know, believe it or not, this is actually like a lot of progress that's been made in a single video in a long time, to be honest. Um, wait, how much Grandmaster badge is that now? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 5? Really? Wait, so does that mean I can't. Wait, hold on, I wanna check this out, actually. So, in theory... Uh, okay, hold on. Bees, come on. Convert quicker. <laughs> More conversion rates. Alright, uh, let's let's check out the sprinkler shop, because I'm pretty sure... Is it 5 for the Grandmaster... For, for the uh, Supreme Saturator? Am I just stupid? I am just stupid. Alright. <laughs> it's 10, really? Are you kidding? Bruh, I got my hopes up for no reason. But yeah, I need 10 Grandmaster Sprouts, or not Grandmaster Sprouts, but Grandmaster Badges to get that, uh, bruh, and another 55 billion honey, bruh, moment, so, yeah, looks like I still got a lot to go, um, let's see, what would be the next one that I'll get, maybe Playtime, if anything, Mushroom Badge, maybe, like, 3 or 4 Field Boosters, maybe, and then I'll be able to get it, um, spider badge, maybe, maybe like four or five-ish, or maybe just three or four, um, let's see, bamboo, maybe, and pine tree forest, those are the ones I see for now, but that's one, uh, two, three, four, and five, wait, no, that's, playtime is just, that's just master, uh, what would be the other one, maybe, maybe clover, or pineapple, or something, um, I don't know, <laughs> we got a long way to go if we want to get that Supreme Saturator, that's, that's for another video in the future, when literally billions are, uh, easy to get for me, so that's gonna take a while, but yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching, once again, sorry for the longer video, I just had a lot to show, um, hope you enjoyed this grinding video, people wanted me to make a grinding video, so if you enjoyed this, let me know, I might do another one in the future, probably not just normal grinding, but like, code type grinding, um, if anything, but yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications for good luck, uh, thanks for watching, and bye bye